So I'm going to go from question 8, 9 and 10. By doing that, you should then get a grade 6. OK, so let's just go straight into it. It says here, uh, 60 people were asked if they prefer to go on holiday in Britain or Spain or Italy. 38 were male. 11 of those da, 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 were female. Right, OK, so what this means is we're going to have to do a table here. This is the best way to do this. And we've got three options, haven't we? Of where they go and we're looking at male against female so we've got three options here and it can be in uh, where are we britain spain or italy so it can be britain spain or italy and they're saying that you've got male and female and what they're saying here 32 38 were male so that means 38 goes there at 60 people overall so I can see that's 22 must be female. Um, 11 of the 32 who said Britain, so therefore 32 said Britain there. 11 were female, so that means 21 must have been male. And then it says eight males said Italy. So if eight males said Italy, I can work out here, that's, so that must be 30, so that must be nine that goes there. And what else did they say? One of the females is chosen, right? Oh, 12 people said Spain. Okay, so if 12 people said Spain, that must be three females chose Spain. And if I've got here, 11, 12, 13, 14, so it must be another eight, uh, sorry, 14, yeah, eight to get to there. So that's 16. And then using my calculator, so I'm just gonna not risk it, add this lot and it hopefully equals 60. So 32 plus 12, plus 16 equals, yeah. And if it didn't, I just have to go back and check. And then it says here, it says, one of the females is chosen random. What's the probability that this female said Spain? So one of the females, so of this group, it's of that group, and this is where it gets tricky. It's not of the whole group, it's just of the females. So it's out of 22, and it said, um, what's the probability they said Spain? And I know it's three out of 22. And that's what makes this more of a tricky question because it says it's kind of a given that a conditional probability they call this right question nine gene invests twelve thousand pounds at a rate uh, on a compound interest rate for two years in the first year the rate was x percent but at the end she got twelve thousand three hundred and thirty six so i've got to times this by something to equal twelve three three six so I'm going to just do that straight away. I'm not going to carry on looking at the question. I'm going to do that. So I'm literally going to get my calculator. 12,336 divided by 1,200 equals, and I can see that R is 1.028. And we know that means a multiplier. So we know that rate was 2.8%. Okay, so that was our rate. In other words, what they call this an X, actually. They say X. So there you go. So that's what X is. And then... Um, it says here, in the second year, the rate of interest is half that. Okay, so second year is going to be x over 2, which is 1.4. And so now we put the amount in they had at the end of the first year, times that by a multiplier, which is 1.014. Put that into our calculator. So here it goes. 1, 2, 3, 3, 6 times 1.014 equals 12... Five zero eight pounds and seventy p. Question ten. Now it says here the vector a and b are shown on this grid here. Vectors. Remember vectors, the common vectors. The top number is right or left along the corridor, and the bottom number is up or down. Okay. So here I can see this vector a is going to be one across, two up. So that's my vector a, and my vector b is one across cool but now it's down three so it's minus three so that's how i write those vectors it, the question if you open up the question it says how do you write vector minus two a oh okay so therefore i'm going to say it's two lots of this so it's two lots of one and two lots of two but it's minus so minus two lots of one two becomes minus oh hello minus two over minus Four. And if they ask us, let's just look at the question. If they ask us to draw it, oh yeah, it says draw 
draw and label. Okay, now I can draw this anywhere I like, anywhere I like, but it's gonna go backwards. And so there you go. Oopsie daisy, it's badly drawn. This is where I need two hands really. So there you go. And that is minus two A. Sorry for the bad drawing, but you should get the idea of what's happening there. And then it says, next question. And oh yeah, by the way, this, this can be anywhere along here. It could be actually anywhere, but make sure the arrow is pointing backwards as well. Um, and then it says, work out A plus 2B as a column vector. Okay, A plus 2B. Let's just jot it over here. A plus 2B. We know A, as we said, is 1, 2, and B, we've got as 1 minus 3. So that means if I do, let's sort out this one here. So it's 1, 2, plus, and then 2 ones are 2, 2 lots of minus 3 is minus 6. And now let's add these together. 1 plus 2 is 3, and 2 plus minus, so 2 minus 6 is minus 4. And that would be our answer.